How do I know when I'm overstepping in my role as a friend? When a friend is sick or in need, I'm 19F willing to help out however and I always message or call to let them know that. I recently messaged a friend, 22M, who was sick to let them know I was happy to help out or stop at the store if they need anything. We're in college so not everyone has family here and there's a lot of stores in walking distance of us, so I didn't think much of it. He respectfully declined and made it a point that I realize his girlfriend was caring for him, all really respectfully and kindly. I said I was glad to hear it and wished him a speedy recovery. But now I'm worried it often seems like I'm overstepping. I've had guys often hit on me in a testing the waters type sense when I had no interest in him, so I worry I sometimes give off the wrong vibe when I genuinely just want to help out. I'm especially worried about giving this vibe off F to my taken guy friends as I truly don't want to disrespect any relationship. I have a feeling I've given off this vibe before, except I usually don't realize maybe I overstepped until after the fact skeptical smiley face but I think the girlfriends usually let it slide because I'm usually just as good friends with the girl and they know I'd do the same thing for them hence why I've gone unconfronted, but I need to get a better sense of boundaries because of situations like today where someone might get the wrong vibe or because I won't always know the girlfriend and she might not know my intentions. Part of my issue is that my texts are lengthy and that can definitely give an overbearing and care too much vibe, I'm working on that. This is particularly an issue with my guy friends. My girl friends always understand my intentions. Anyways, when is too much to do for a friend? How do you let your friends know you're there for them without seeming overbearing? Obviously no one can give me hard and fast rules but if you have any helpful cues or tips to help me tread water more carefully, I'd appreciate it. Too long did not read. Dot. Guys, and sometimes their girlfriends, often misunderstand my platonic intentions when I try to support them e.g. when sick or stressed. Any tips to recognize and respect their emotional boundaries? Edits. 1. Wanted to give a blanket thank you to everyone for their contributions. Maybe this all seems very obvious to you, but this is my first time having real friends. I had an odd childhood, so I'm still learning a lot of the simple social rules people learned when they were younger cold sweat smile I appreciate everyone's help. 2. I also wanted to echo something I've mentioned in previous comments. I won't stop loving people. I appreciate all the kind words, and please understand this isn't some self-deprecating post. I absolutely will continue to love and care for my friends, but it's important to me that I recognize and adjust to the unique emotional boundaries of the people in my life. 3. My responses are starting to get a bit repetitive, so I might not respond. Please do know your honesty has been appreciated and y'all have really helped me see perspectives I was struggling to realize before. Thanks again Orange Heart. If someone just has a cold sending a wall of text is overkill. Save it for something more serious. If you must send something keep it short and sweet. I heard you were sick. Let me know if you need anything. What kind of sick were they? If it was a cold or something, I think that's too much to offer. Usually people just say I hope you feel better. These days people can order food to their doorstep, and since he's an adult, if he needs help, I'm sure he will reach out. Perhaps just say next time, I hope you feel better. Let me know if you need anything. When you give specifics, it sounds more solidified. I would just keep it simple. Hope you feel better. If you need anything let me know, that way if they do you can help or if they reply that their partner can assist you simply say, good, glad to hear that. Pre-COVID I would just say, hope you feel better. But given that some people have more intense COVID symptoms throwing in the, if you need anything, is fine for now. Reading your post and replies to comments, it's very clear that you have a lot of insight and a genuine concern for others. I just want to say, keep in mind that most people are not in a caregiver frame of mind 24-7, so it may come across as uncomfortable. I have been there before. Also, ask yourself to what end is your compassionate behavior for. This isn't to imply it's phony or self-serving. There might be an underlying issue behind this drive, such as experiential avoidance or a compulsion to be approved of. Yay for example, if a guy offered to take care of my fiancé if she was sick I'd be pretty pissed. In my opinion it's usually the significant other's act of kindness to do so. That's nice you wanna do that, but I'd also be upset if another girl was offering to take care of my BF. It sounds like you mean well, but just giving you some context. I think if you guy friends test the waters it isn't a sign you're doing anything wrong, it's a sign that they see you as a catch which means you're doing things right. 
I think that the idea that it is weird or inappropriate to be a kind and generous friend to male friends with no sexual expectation is a big part of what is wrong with gender dynamics in the modern world. I'm glad you're being decent despite the weird system we're in. Definitely don't stop. I think a good idea is to just say something short and sweet like, Hey friend. Heard you were sick, down, etc. Let me know if I can help in any way. I'm here for ya.